hi guys how are you today so i found this question today and this guy has some issue he has these elements on this uh, armor weapon and when he is rotating it one element is not following the rotation so this is about like uh, alignment and facing thing so i have already some tutorials if you go to youtube channel cg house as the alignment i have made this diamond out of sprite i have this dedicated uh, on sprite alignment facing and I have this video, I have multiple videos on that topic, but I have also created this thing for you. So if you'll see, I have two cases here. One, this red arc that is locked vertically. And then I have this green that rotates when I rotate it. So these are the two cases we will learn today. So let's see how we create it. So let's start this. So I will create a material in this folder first. So let's make M radial and actually half radial I need. So I'll just make it translucent. I'll decide it. I'll take a radial and if I preview, this is my radial. I'll just copy and paste. Let's make the density of this one five. And then this one, let's make this maybe 10 okay and i also want to offset this so i'll just take two vector and 0 0.5 0 0.5 will be in the center i want to offset a little bit and then subtract from this so i'll just subtract from this to this and what we will have this kind of arc so let's take a particle color connect this directly and use this here why I created this type of material because this guy has similar kind of arc shape. So I just want to make the same kind of thing. So we have this material, right? And let's, uh, instead of this uh, sphere, we have a slender that we will use. I'll take this slender, let's put it on zero and go nearby this. Let's make some space and I'll just scale it down and then scale on this axis okay and then i will rotate 90 degree on this axis right so we have this this has to be 90 exact cool now we will connect that shape so there's a condition this shape if you have and uh, if this shape you want to align on a specific uh, uh, angle or you want a sprite uh, that rotate when uh, we are moving so we will cover both so let's say you have a nigra we will see both condition so effects and let's take a fountain and i'll just quickly delete some parameters and i'll just take the bust just one particle spawn once and leave forever so i have a single particle that has an infinity life and also i don't want the random things here so just make this maybe 100 and i have post process on here so let me also turn that off yeah that's better so now i want to use that material inside it so just change the material and let's not use the random rotation either and i'll just make this maybe 10 or 50 on the red so we have this so first this is a camera facing you can see and we have the pivot point in the center of this because this is round okay so let's uh, let's also make this local and drag it into the viewport and then here i will drag it onto the slender and just link it with this and make the parameter zero here and scale one so you can see this is sprite is a box because sprite is a square shape pivot is here first thing you have to move this here because you want to connect then we want to rotate it 90 degrees so i will go here and degree 90 degree and we need actually invert it so minus 90 so this is how it is it looks you want this exact shape exact attachment but when we rotate this things change let me turn this off when we rotate this things change one reason is because uh, the pivot of this sprite is here in the center so when we select this effect 
pivot is here so it is rotating from the pivot so if you change this make it one actually it is zero so it will be other side now pivot is here but still uh, let me take this still this is rotating and we now we have to actually align it so first on the slender i'll just make it zero and then fx let's move it here because we have changed the pivot so now if i rotate this it's rotating things so first thing what you can do is you can just go here and you can just take the custom alignment custom facing vector and then here you can just take the align to mesh orientation after this it will align on a axis by default and it looks like a 3d planar now and see here if i rotate my slender it's rotating with it and if you want one more to make it curve shape you can just copy and paste this and in this one you can just change the axis i guess this yeah actually minus one yeah so we have now a cross and it will work perfectly here you can see so this is the one case if this solved your issue uh, that's good we can try one more thing so let's copy this first emitter and paste it here and if i just uh, like use this what we can do with this instead of using these things let's just use it like this delete this and see what the issue is now it's rotating again but what you can do here in alignment just use the align with the velocity and in here just add a velocity and add very less value maybe 0.1 so it will be aligned with velocity but we need other direction minus 0.1 yeah so now if i rotate this see the shape this arc is linked here but it rotates see it rotates so it's a cool you can use this thing i think this is a more usable for the project time so if i'll show you the difference if i make this one green instead of red make it green and this first one and this one i will isolate together and see the difference the red one is locked on that axis vertical and that green one when we rotate this is also vertical when we go here it's making horizontal so i think that's that's good thing so these are the two things you can do and i hope this is it and you you will learn something new with this video thank you for watching keep learning and bye bye